What's going on, dinosaurs? Paul here, and I'll be your DM for a little while. Just want to remind you that there's only four more subs, four more subs needed for me to go ahead and reveal something besides my hands, and I'm super excited to get to that because I've been working on the studio, been working on a little background and those kind of things to make this a pleasurable video to be able to watch uh, along with lighting and other things. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and get us to 70 and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But I have big plans uh, coming up as I'm going to be doing some things from uh, Treasury uh, Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons and breaking that down and lots of other good stuff to come. So be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Today we have, uh, I bought this from my uh, local friendly gaming store, uh, Gears Gaming in Birmingham, Alabama. So if you're local in the Birmingham area, uh, I'll put a link down below to where you can get a hold of them. But uh, this is one of the many uh, cool things that they have at the game store. Uh, this Warhammer Age of Sigmar role play game, Soulbound starter set. I've not opened it. You can see the, the, the plastic is still on it. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to look at it, just kind of walk through it uh, and see what we see. Now, the box itself, I gotta tell you, is really nice. It has that feel to it. It's uh, it's very, very cool. It's very well made, not flimsy at all. Uh, it has uh, just a great feel to it. It's something you wanna put on your shelf and get a hold of, uh, as you can see on the back here. As you can see, this is put out by Cubicle 7, and uh, it is based in the Warhammer universe and uh, Age of Sigmar, to be exact. So let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so let me share what I know about this game. Very little, to be honest with you. I've done a little bit of research, uh, but uh, basically it is a dice pool game. You're, you're uh, according to your stats, uh, you're adding uh, dice or taking away dice uh, based on your scores and based on what you're trying to do. And so that is the extent of it. So we're just here to look at the dice and what's in the box here. Uh, I'm excited about it. Like I said, I sometimes I just buy a game on a lark uh, without even knowing about it, just so I can... Uh, tinker around with it and see if I'm gonna like it or not. So there is the dice. I like them. I like the red, it's got a little yellow in there, but uh, very, very cool. Let's go ahead and move those over here. But I like them, I like the dice. Oh, look, I like, look at that. It's got the, uh, the little Age of Sigmar uh, logo on there uh, as the six. So that's very cool, I like that. All right, let's see what is next. And uh, I believe these are the Yep, that's what I thought. The character sheets. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so here we have the character sheets. And once again, uh, I don't. I know very little about the game, so I'm just going to read it as is. Not take a lot of time with each of them. But this is uh, Vel Arturius. Love the artwork. I mean, I and I've played. Uh, Warhammer 40k. Uh, I've never played Fantasy, and I haven't played Age of Sigmar, but I have played uh, 40k, and I do appreciate uh, the the tremendous artwork that goes into uh, all the products that they have here. Uh, but as you look in here, and I'm sure each of them are the same, and I'll show the artwork here. But just to kind of look through the numbers, um, different things you have here. You you have body, you have number for body, mind, and soul. Uh, you have different things like athletics and fortitude and might uh let's see there's also some little things down here you get a, a quester cloak i don't know what that is but that sounds cool uh a sigmarite plate which is your armor quester war blade and a sigmarite shield and a hammer pendant well that's kind of cool i like all those things and uh let's see you have initiative here you have armor uh metal which i don't know what that is yet uh toughness and okay so basically that's my uh, weapon right there fighting with the quester war blade i get a 5d6 5d6 pool so i can roll five d6s i get a plus one on focus and i damage on a one plus s and i don't know what that is yet but I will read the rules and find out. And traits, I have trait of Sigmarite and Slashing. Uh, here's some of the character detail right here. Uh, you have age, uh, pronouns, species, uh, uh, Vel's personal goals. Uh, you know, read over and circle one of the following goals to determine what motivates you during play. If you achieve one of your goals, you gain one XP and the party recovers one soul fire. 
Now, I guess Soul Fire is, I believe Soul Fire, from what I read, is something the whole party uses. So you use Soul Fire to kind of help one another achieve uh, different goals and maybe to do something that you wouldn't be able to do normally by yourself. So uh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and carry on, but at least you get a look at what the character sheets are like. Uh, this is the character sheet explanations here. Gives you all of that. Uh, so let's go and take a look at some of the other, what are the kind of characters we have here? Let me pull these out here. So we have Imren Seelgear. Let's get a look at that. Oh, wow, that looks great. Look at that. And then you have Malgra Danson. Also looks kind of like a um, artificer, maybe. Uh, then you have Darok. I, I'm going to say Darok and not Darach. But um, but I like here, uh, by the way, on the front here, it gives you a little bit of the who. And I, I do love the quotes. Uh, if it is unwise to remain in the open, if the enemy is in the shadows. <laughs> so, I mean, these are really, I love a good quote. And I love the fact that these are things that you, your character would say, and you can just throw that right into the role play. So I do, I do like that and appreciate that. Um, oh, look, it's Groot. So yeah, Darok, a Kurnoth hunter. So yeah, definitely Groot. Who, wants to, who doesn't want to play Groot? Zan Beemar or Beemer. Yes, I'll say Zan Beemer. And that's an Excelsior war priest and looks like a bad, bad dude with them red glowing eyes. So, all right, well, those are all the character sheets. Very cool to that. And uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, the tokens. And I did glance uh, when I was opening the opening pages there. I believe these are your soul fire tokens, right? These are your soul fire. Let me put that in here. These are your soul fire tokens. You get so many of those to be able to use at appropriate moments, I imagine. And then you have the what's called doom tokens. And I'm not as familiar with that, but those are your doom tokens. And then I believe these are what's called your, your metal tokens. And once again, I think your metal, if I understand the term as normal words, you know, you have your toughness, I would think, your metal. All right, I'm just going to dump some of these out here and get to some of these other, yeah, I'll just dump them all out. All right, then you have the faltering light. And this is discover the truth of what lies beneath bright spear. And this is, looks like the adventure that they have in here. And if kind of flip through it a little bit and you can see lots of great artwork. Um, and it looks as if it goes through the rules as you go, because there's conditions. Let me go back to the, let me go to the beginning here. Uh, attacks, it shows you how to do the actual attacks. It has a little sheet on that. So the rules are integrated into the adventure, which is really kind of cool. Bright Spear Meeting. Lots of uh, little tables you can roll on. That's very cool. I like that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Once again, beautiful artwork. And that's that. That's the uh, the actual adventure. So let's move over with that. All right. So what do we got here? We got a map. And this is the city of Bright Spear. And as I understand it, I believe it's tiered. I believe this is a something that goes from bottom to top. So there's a top part and a bottom part of Bright Spear. Uh, it has all the districts here, which are listed in, by color. You can see that. And then there's where they're located all around the city there. So that's very, very cool. I love a good map. And then here's the big map, big, big, big map of, uh, of the world there. Uh, there's some, let's see, what else we got in here? We have reference sheets because you need reference sheets, right? I mean, that's kind of, you got to have a reference sheet. At least I do. I don't know about you. Um, but there's a reference sheet. It's got all your things, shared spell casting. Uh, let's see, realm affinity, the price of failure. Wow. So uh, you get you get a little thing there. That if you fail, something bad is going to happen. I like that. I like when, when magic just goes awry. And getting down to the bottom box, and this is the Bright Spear City Guide, a comprehensive guide to the city of Bright Spear. We'll take a little look in there. Okay, and factions, I guess. All kinds of people, all the different, the Free Guild, the Fire Slayers, the Iron Weld Arsenal, the Car uh, Caradron Overlords, I like that. Uh, places of interest, it's got landmarks, currency, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, look, taverns, markets, places of worship, other sites, goods and services. So the big list there for what things will cost. 
uh, to get things. So I love this. I really do. I think this is, I mean, right off the bat, uh, it is just filled with all kinds of good stuff that I would like to play. Uh, there's threats. What's going on? What threatens the city? There's the undercity. Wow. Lots of good stuff. I can't wait to just kind of read through this uh, on my own. And let's see. Very last thing here. Uh, that's the actual book. So, yeah. So that's the book that you can buy. Uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Soulbound. That's the actual Perilous Adventures of the Moral Realms. I'll leave a link down in the description below that if you're interested in the actual box set or if you're interested in this, uh, uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so anything you purchase, uh, a few pennies goes to me and you help support the channel. And then last but not least is there's another map, right? Well, it's not another map, but it's the same map as the other, but it's inside. I remember seeing something inside the top of the box. I love using space. I love using space wisely. Uh, I mean, use everything. Why not? Why not use the inside of the box or the inside of the cover? Here's the, um, here's all the different things you can do. Here's, uh, let's see, kind of zoom in just a little bit. Uh, you can see there it's got making an attack. It's got range and dealing damage, advantage and disadvantage, common skill combinations. Uh, it has all the different rules and things. There. So it's another really easy little cheat sheet that you can use. So, well, that is it, guys. Uh, that is the uh, Soulbound uh, Age of Sigmar. What did you think? I would love your comments. Leave me some comments down below. Is this a game of interest? Have you played it? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. What, do, what is it about it that you've seen that uh, maybe intrigues you about it? And uh, that's it. I appreciate your comments. Don't forget, only uh, four more subs. Four more right here. Four more subs to get away from these hands and then get to see what's behind the camera here. Once again, not going to be a big uh, thrill or anything, but you know, it's not like I'm famous or anything like that, but at least I get to show my face on camera and start doing some other fun things. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know you like the video and you want more of them. And until the next time, we'll catch you guys in the next video.